Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. A policeman was shot and injured on Wednesday afternoon while at an automated telemachine ATM along Old Harbour Road in Spanish Town, St. Catherine. The inspector, who is attached to the St. Catherine North Police Division, was rushed to the Spanish Town General Hospital where he's being treated. The body of a man who was believed to be mentally ill was found in bushes in Folly, Portland on Tuesday. The deceased, Andre Weston, had multiple gunshot wounds. The National Works Agency, NWA, is to spend over $86 million to upgrade the safety of six heavily trafficked roadways across several parishes. Once completed, the NWA expects that motorists will be better able to maneuver the corridors safely. Overseas, San Francisco could become the first major U.S. city to fund reparations under a plan that would award $5 million U.S. million to each eligible black resident. Supporters say it would be just compensation to black Americans for the legacy of slavery and racism. In sports, the wait will have to continue for Jaime Hall Grimson's first win as head coach of Jamaica's senior men's football team. The Reggae Boys, despite an improved second half, could not find a way past Trinidad and Tobago as the two played to a nil-all draw in the final of their two-game series at the National Stadium last night. In your currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $152.65, the British pound sterling for $183.34, and the Canadian dollar for $110.57. In your weather forecast, Thursday afternoon will be mostly cloudy with the showers and windy conditions across northern parishes. Also expect isolated thunderstorms mainly across south, central, and eastern parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram and like, comment and share on YouTube. I'm Jovan Johnson.